팔방팔방. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Korean Always podcast. In this week's episode, we're going to be covering uh, clubs at school, um, writing, clubs. outgoing oh, careers, school clubs. clubs. Right. Yeah, well, from what you say, <laughs> clubs. Yeah, it's a British British term. <laughs> How do you no, guys no, call no. it? You say clubs. We say clubs. You say clubs. <laughs> I was just identifying what type of club uh, we were talking about. We could go, we could go into clubs yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, talking about, you're talking about Dongari clubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. clubs. Uh, our experience with writing in Korean and more importantly, generally, our just sort of university life in Korea. How's yeah. it been going? So, yeah, um, let's just start things off with, yeah, the clubs mm-hmm. themselves. Um, Adamo, what clubs are you partaking in and why are you partaking in them? Partaking, we'll get the British English in here, mate. All right, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, clubs, so like you guys know from the previous episode, I'm at Yonsei University, and so far, um, I'm doing a couple clubs really, just one in particular. Um, it's mm. actually this basketball club at Yonsei called Gung O Chin, um, okay, and it's basically a basketball, it's like um, in America, we'd call this like intramural um, sports type stuff because. We, part- we like there's like a little tournament that we're actually gonna have like next month. We're gonna be playing against other schools in Korea, um, in a little bit Dehwe, you know that kind of vibe. Yeah, that um, be tournament. Um, so Thank like you. so far, like we've I've been in the club for about a month and a half, I want to say, and we've had like practice every couple twice a week or so. And man, it's honestly like some of the most fun I've had like in Korea, like yes. being with the boys, oh, yeah. meeting the yeah. team, because like you find those squad. Like, yeah, there's like three three of us are are foreigners technically, one Korean American, and then myself, and then another bro of mine that's um also on the team. And, and we're basically just like giving them ham in the course, man. Like I'm not gonna lie, we're yeah. kinda like dogging them. Like, I'm joking. <laughs> they're honestly they're 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 nice. Yeah. Like they're nice. Everyone on the team is nice. Like they're super cool and like their fundamentals are definitely the one thing that like I think they're more found they're like really solid on, like the team captain has like the wettest mm. jumper. Like this man's <laughs> will knock it in your face. Like, I'm using I'm using basketball terms. Sorry. Yeah, like, like, so his jumper is, is sorry. sorry. <laughs> so the, the wet. If you don't know basketball, maybe the wettest jumper might sound a little sus. Yeah, it sounds a little sus. Yeah. That man's that man's is he knows what he's doing with a ball. Like he knows how to handle some balls. Like, he's had- <laughs> <laughs> There's this one guy, this Korean guy. His name we call him Dunkit. Okay. Um, because, <laughs> Because like oh, he's like he's big, but there's an NBA there's an NBA basketball player called uh, Nikola Jokic, and he basically plays like uh, this man. He's a big man who can <laughs> shoot, get in the post, and he's basically like unstoppable sometimes. Because like if you do not guard him, he's going to dock you every time. So like he's probably the the biggest pain in the ass for me because every time I have to guard him or play on him, he just always abuses me, and I just have to be on him twenty four seven. But it's been super fun, like. Basketball's been yeah. super fun because it's been it's been a long time since I've gotten to play. But how about you, George? How about you, what clubs are you a part of, man? Well, I was just gonna say it sounds like you've been living like your own episode of like Slam Dunk out here. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you bro, I was watching Slam Dunk too. Yeah, yeah, you've been watching that as well. Like you were telling me that yeah. you weren't actually supposed to be in the club, like because for whatever reason, like you kind of sh- you kind of sharp anyway. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that for another. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, man is trying to expose me. Oh yeah. Doing? Obviously, you know, you take one look at me. I'm clearly like, whoa. Just, I was supposed to be Eminem. Like, I really was. So <laughs> I joined the hip hop right, 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 right. school. And oh, yeah, yeah. other reasoning behind that. Obviously, I quite like music. Hip hop is one of the genres I listen to. Mm-hmm. But I really wanted to do something that like tested my confidence. Like, just made me uncomfortable. Like, purposely just mm-hmm. do something that I think ah, oh, like I went get I get up in the morning I'm like ah, oh, like. I, I just want to stress my life for some reason. That that's good. <laughs> that's good though. Yeah, that's I wanted good, to yeah. overcome something more than just learning Korean, more than just you know doing some mm-hmm. studies or whatever. Um, and doing this club has definitely yeah pushed me with that. Um, I have to stand. So every week, every Thursday, we meet at seven pm at the the club, the, the place, and yeah. everyone has to go up on stage, perform whatever they've written during that week in front of like say a lecture room. I'm gonna say sixty people, like a lot of people. Oh um, yeah. yeah. And you, you, you perform, and then they give you feedback. So everyone gives you feedback. Well, not everyone, but, um, you know, they raise a hand, give you feedback. And, right, yeah, right. it's really, like, kind of nerve-wracking. Yeah, because it's one thing going in prepared with, like, a presentation and just giving, like, your view on something. And, like, if you stumble a bit, it's right. like, okay. But with music and rap particularly, you can't yeah. 
if you mess up, you mess up. Like it's it's quite uh, right. it's unforgiving, right? Um, and so that's right, been really right, right. good for like improving my sort of general public speaking. But yeah, Christ, man, it's, yeah. it's not <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I mean, like I can, I can even just tell like that is that does not sound easy to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Joining a club where like rap in general, like being mm-hmm. able to rap or rapping in front of people like you don't know, and Definitely. it's just like sixty random people that are just like okay. This dude's fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, some people could talk, but they'd be like, "This dude does not know how to speak Korean." And I mean, especially as a foreigner, like, yeah. what, what's the the demographic of this club? Is it like ninety nine point nine 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 percent Korean? That you're the only foreigner. Yeah, so there's only one of a foreigner, um, but they're only there for like exchange. So it's basically basically me who's here for the long term. Yeah, on top of like doing the club um i've also just been trying to have that attitude of life like yeah i need to study yeah i need to like, exercise and just doing stuff that is like was originally quite tough um in order to grow as a person i just kind of i mean i'm still young i'm like i'm only like 19 for god's sake but <laughs> i just feel like if i slip back now like i'm gonna regret it a lot in later life and like why it better start earlier than never so yeah, yeah man like, that, there's power in that man like like that's that's another thing like i think we're like I'm 20, I'll be 21 probably by like next year. Probably, I mean, yeah, I will be in like next year. And like, you're only 19. <laughs> you're only 19 and like you're already like these kind of like moments of like trying to like drive yourself towards something because we kind of reached this goal like, okay, getting as good as possible at Korean. Korean, number one priority for like the past two years. We both were on that really heavy grind where we were just like every single day, Korean, Korean, Korean. How do I get better? How can I improve? Watch a new show, learn some new vocab. And we kind of reached the point where now we're in Korea, two years passed, and we've hit like that basic fluency. Like, you know, that marker when we talk about like refold or MIA or AJAT, like basic fluency, you can speak the language pretty well. And like people understand you, people are complimenting you. Like, oh my God, you speak so well. Oh my God, you speak like a, you're amazing. Like, like, you just say one word, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 to that degree. And now we kind of reached the point where it's like, hmm, you can, it's very easy to get complacent. I think yes. like, I can even yeah. tell for myself, like the grind that I was on that like a year ago. Oh my, just thinking oh, about it sometimes, right now, yeah. I'm like, wow. You know, do you have the same feeling sometimes? Oh no, I'm totally like exactly the same. Like I've noticed that I've been kind of being a lot more lenient and like watching like some English YouTube videos here and there and just be like, oh, you know, it's okay. Oh, like cause oh, I get right, complacent because right. I'm like, oh, I'm already good enough. I don't really need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's really something special about the fact that we both went through that sort of same two year period, both on the grind for like that long. Like right. who, who else in life are you going to meet? Who's, who's like going to, yeah. you know, do of you there for like that, those two years doing the same right, thing. Right. Like, we, we were right there together too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, and I mean, yeah, it's really, like, it's, just, it's a really awesome, like, feeling to have got where we are but that, that like the thing that i'm attacking as well in my own life is that we've both hit that comfort level we're both like comfy now and yeah. as soon as you get comfy you can just like you know call it quits and just like slack basically <laughs> and you get right. into that mindset of like oh yeah everything's okay everything's okay but are you are we really okay i mean if we carry on like this i'm be real like our korean ability is going to slip if you carry we carry on getting too complacent so my mindset is yeah. and i mean I, you just said now like we can't be Fucking how we need to get back on our grind. And man, like that kind of brings us to yeah. where we are now, university. Yeah. And exactly. Being in university brings a whole nother challenge to the equation because I mean the past two years we were basically on our own schedule. We determined what we did, what we wanted to do, what we wanted to watch, what we wanted to learn. We literally could literally just have fun watching what everyone but now you're in university and yeah. you're dealing with actual Korean students, Korean professors, <laughs> and now you gotta use the language. And also past classes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> that particularly. So, yeah. like, I know for you, you are taking like every single one of your classes outside of one, I believe, is all exactly. Korean. Am I right? Exactly that. Yeah, so, all, all Korean. So, yeah. All so, like, with that, how do you feel like this has affected your like? How do you feel in Korean class? I guess is the first thing I like to ask. Like, how do you yeah. feel with your Korean amongst like other Korean natives or Korean students? Like, do you feel comfortable, or how do you feel like even in general? Mm, yeah so obviously it's exam week right now and i've taken like right. two free exams i mean one of them was wasn't was in japanese so like i guess we'll, we'll oh, skip gosh. that but um, <laughs> oh, yeah. the one that i did take in korean so far um i noticed i got to the writing section and i just knew that when i wrote it down like first of all thank god i studied because if i hadn't studied like yeah. i would yeah. have been screwed um definitely study guys uh, <laughs> you know simple advice right. um but what i'm getting at is here the vocabulary that I could produce 
it's like mm. ah, it's limited it's limited mm. It's, mm. It, it is describing the matter exactly how it is but i feel like i have to use like a whole sentence to get something mm. like korean guy was saying like right. two or three words you know right. and i've noticed yeah, that, I know. speaking that the people next to me always speak with like a more academic tone like they just like mm. got those bright words like yes. bam bam bam, yes. bam. Yes, and we're, yes, we're yes. here just like we're, we're not like you know completely alienated but right, we just right. we just sound uneducated and <laughs> I, I just I, I just I'm, <laughs> it's the truth yeah, though. I mean I just don't like being in trivial like, like we're, we're two year olds man like, yeah we're two and a half years old in Korean man yeah, yeah exactly. we're going against like some some 20 25 22 year olds in Korean people that are just like spitting and we're yeah, just like really you know, yeah really like, I mean, I mean, people think I'm good, but I still got to get there. Exactly. You know, like, we're, just, we're just pretending. Yeah. I mean, like the, especially with the rap club as well, that really fits in because people just, you know, they like getting all these rhymes and like all this like poetic oh, wording. Yeah. Right. Jeez. Like I have to step <laughs> on my game. So yeah. yeah. Or that's the, that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You always got that motivator in the back. Cause I think that's like the whole thing like you even said, mentioning like challenging yourself, giving yourself, yeah. there's like positive forms of stress. And I think like, first of all, coming to Korea is one. And that was like, now we've kind of adjusted to it. Like even for myself coming to Korea, like a couple months ago, that was like, a, this is my first time here. So I'm like, whoa, okay. How do I communicate with people? How can I get comfortable? Like making friends, how do I do that? And now after like a couple months, I feel like relatively comfortable, like with like speaking to people in general, openly talking to random people on the street or that kind of thing. So like, I've kind of adjusted to that stress. So now this new form, this new like uh, thing that's kind of pushing me is like um, my Korean like political class that I'm taking, which is like all Korean and all the students are Korean. The, the class is taught about welfare, gender and labor and politics, going through the details from ev all across the international landscape of welfare across the world. And then they very, it hits very hard on the Korean welfare aspects because yeah. that's where most of the students understand welfare, you know? and their, their basic understanding of welfare as it relates to the international landscape. So me sitting down in that class, writing hella notes like, yo, I got to learn these words. Like, oh my gosh, so I'm writing like at least like 10, 15, 20 words each class. Just yeah. like, okay, boom, 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 boom. But the good thing is like, since it's a very tight domain, like we talk about domains when it comes yeah. to language learning, how it's when you have one central kind of like, topic that you're learning, especially after we've reached this fluency level, it becomes easier to kind of pick up onto it like quickly, more quickly than before, so, because the, the language is more consistent. You can hear the same words over and over and over and over, over again, as they're talking about flipping like, and then they're talking yeah. about like, and then they're talking yeah. about like, well, you well, hear these the same words like, chichedo, like you hear all these different, the same words over and over and over again. So then your brain kind of like, the frequency is increased by these specific domains, which yeah. makes it easier, but also challenging because you realize like, ah, oh, I'm going to have to do this with every single domain. Yeah. 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 Less I mean, the interest is one thing too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. To a degree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. Maybe like, you are interested in your subject. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it is my major. So like, it's, it's, it's very big. Like it's at least it, with the stress of like knowing that I want to be better. I want to be able to communicate like the other students, like, listening to the other students give their answers to the teacher. I'm like, yo, I got to get to that level, you know, like, yo, I got to be able to talk like that. So like, it makes it kind of puts you in like grind mode. Like, okay, I need to like fucking read these documents. Cause we get like documents, like uh, papers we have to read before class, like 40 oh, pages long, really? 40 pages really? long. You're getting that like, much like, and, Dude. That's and then the thing, <laughs> dude, yeah. the thing that I think is, I don't, I sometimes, like the first one we got, I went through it. It was like an 11 page reading. I went through it, but no, marking words, marking words. I was like, and honestly, it didn't feel horrible. The only problem is I realized my, my like ability to kind of like grasp um, knowledge in Korean and then yeah, actively like now, spit right? it out is not as like quick as, you know, in English. In English, you read something, you can kind of actualize it, you can like connect it to your previous knowledge and then be like, okay, now I have an idea and I can share it. But like in Korean, I kind of take that idea, I'm kind of processing it. And I think we, we even mentioned like the whole idea of like when you learn vocab, I know like uh, with Maverick Japan, one of the things that he emphasized was when you talk about like something that is your career or something that you have a great knowledge of in English, yeah. you're better off searching up the definitions for those words in Korean in English instead yes. of doing like monolingual. Yeah. 
And yeah. that was something that I didn't do at first. I was just like, yo, I'm monolingual, bro. Like, I can fully <laughs> understand these things. Like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. But doing that just slows you down. It does. Realize. Yeah, it does. If I just see the English one, boom, my brain immediately connects to what I know about it in English. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I can kind of like, the more vocab that I get that's like that, it allows me to be more expressive with mm-hmm. those vocab words, you know, uh, versus I'll tell you what that monolingual. Is. Yeah. Is the when you relearn it or so when you find that Korean definition, you have to sort of relearn the whole concept before you can get back to that word. Whereas when you just look it up in English, you already know the concept behind it, so it just goes straight through, right? So yeah, I find the exact same thing with my classes. When you write write papers or have like assignments, are you trying to specifically use those words or are you just like kind of going with it, like just come, doing what comes to mind? Because of like the way that people talk, like the general subject matter we're talking about is very much the, the, the professor will go in in very detail. So we have like a two hour lecture and then we have a one hour lecture. It's so two hour lectures on Thursdays, one hour lecture on Friday. And through the lecture, I kind of hear the professor talk about these things in such great detail that kind of gives me a, a great enough idea of like, okay, I understand like because we, we have certain doctrines we learn about like when was this law established in Korea? When were uh, women able to yeah. um, join unions or like these kinds of really specific facts that we t- technically are supposed to learn? So I'm like writing down, okay, 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 okay. And then when it comes down to assignments, it's mostly the pooling the facts together along with the like the general assignment topic. Uh, like for example, like we're writing a paper on the uh, book. T- so we had to interview someone and then we have to write a paper on how welfare was affecting that individual. So this right. paper, I'm essentially combining my knowledge that I've learned in class about welfare. Well, in addition to my understanding of welfare in English, and then combining that with the vocab I've learned to write a paper while talking about an individual. So it's not like crazy difficult. Like it sounds pretty hard to be like, oh my gosh, you're writing it in Korean. But like mm. to the degree that like I understand what I what I heard in class and then I'm taking, um, I also, the biggest thing I think that helps with like writing is reading. So like I went and read like other papers or like people interviewing an interview paper or someone talking about welfare. It kind of gives you like ideas or examples for how to write different sentences, you know? Like I use those as like my little like, okay, I got to double check. Okay, that's kind of how I say that. Okay, that's how I say that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, So that's like the best way I can go about it. But you can tell like, that still takes a lot of time. (laughs) It's not easy to like, look at this, right? Look at this. Because, you know, Korean students just be like, yeah, fam, fam. yeah, fam. <laughs> and then they're, they're like, oh, yeah, finish the paper. I mean, they're, they're really diligent. Like the one thing with students here, like they're extremely diligent. Yeah. They're always grinding, always studying, always got a really new well. like study group. So, you know, yeah, I mean, I, that's something I respect. And that's something that I've been trying to sort of cultivate as I've like moved into right. this real life. Because before right. I wasn't particularly diligent and I mm. generally was, I was like a C student basically. Um, mm. And like coming here, the last month or so i've been on this sort of kind of yeah. pushing through to do hard things getting diligent is right. basically what I'm like trying to but yeah. um and there's a book that i actually read um with the help of that is a book by this guy called david goggins i don't know if you've heard of him david oh goggins. david goggins yeah, dude. Guy, yeah. Yes. Yeah. of course I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me by david goggins bro that, that yeah. book that kind of woke me up i was like okay yeah. like, oh, no, no more yeah. like quitting the gym like let's actually go yeah. every day yeah. thing. it just yeah. got me got me yeah going again got you in line you realize like i gotta stick to it like the sticking to it is what gets you the games like yeah i mean we already know that but exactly like, right? I don't know, every now and then you need that new sort of motivation that gets you back in um, yeah like it's helpful to like re-listen back or hear like because i even myself like i saw um some you know back in the day i used to listen to those Matt versus japan oh, Patreon yeah. streams and like I saw them, I recommended all of a sudden it's like they started posting them on Refold's channel. They started posting them, so I was like, you know what? I'll listen to it just to like see what, what you know what what was I listening to back like then? And it gave me like another like refreshing reminder of like ah, this is where I was. Like ah, oh, okay, this is the kind of mindset I need to have like about like when it comes to listening to Korean people speech and like uh, how to most naturally imitate Korean people or how yeah. to most naturally like be the best speaker you can be. You know? remembering that we're just not good enough like, i always say like i always say like, yeah. i don't like being inferior yeah, and, like, I, I, yeah. Like, the reason i keep saying it is because i'm trying to also yeah. remind myself that hey like let's not just get complacent i think we're big men out here because yeah. we've still exactly. got some gap to go if we want to get to that native level which is what we want exactly. in the first place. So, yeah exactly. um, but <laughs> it's hey, crazy yeah. Really. <laughs> 
it's yeah. crazy, man. Because like it's the most. That's the funny thing. Like that level. Like, we know, like in Korea, humility is like such a big thing. Like it's like, oh, no, yeah. 잘하시네요. 아닙니다, 아닙니다. 아직 부족해요. Yeah. Like you know that kind of yeah. talking. But like yeah. literally, that's a fact for us. Like we yeah, literally we're still suck. Good. Like we, yeah, we're, we're not good. Not good. Enough, <laughs> We fucking like suck. Like I'm telling you, I'm good. <laughs> it's like, why do you keep lying to me? Why? <laughs> it, ha- no, it happens. The problem that the bit that gets me as well is that when it happens when you just say like "annyeonghaseyo," it's a basic ass yeah. word, and they'd yeah. be like, "I just know," and like you know, they're just trying to like be nice and stuff. But it's like, hey, they're nice. They're just nice, you know. I don't know. Can people just have that about like, you know? an evil guy. <laughs> like, just tell me I'm good because I'm not good yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta see. That's the thing. Like, you can't, you can't be like, I like, no, stop telling me I'm good. I'm actually yeah, shit. Like, stop. Actually like, oh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes you mean, sometimes you're you be like, uh, you know, you take it with stride. Obviously, it feels pretty good to a degree, like to hear, like, oh wow, you're good. And you're like, part of part of your brain, even as much as like, I sometimes oh, yeah. you might not want to admit it. You're like, yeah, thank you. Part of your like, thank exactly. you, thank no, you. Exactly. Like, yeah, like yeah. It, it's worth the grind. The grind got us to this point, but at yeah. the same time, it's like. We can't get complacent, so you can't be t- telling yourself like, "I'm a god, I'm fucking great, think, like I'm the greatest." Yeah, you know? exactly. But I think like getting to this point where we are now is kind of made me respect for people go like, to the next level, and I understand yeah. why people do stop at sort of the level where we are. Right, like, right, it really, right, right. really makes a lot of sense. It's like some weird like you could some you can only understand after you've gone through the the journey. Yeah, like, you getting, only know if you reach this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, people so will say, "I wish I was you." Like, I wish I had your yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. Like we had this discussion, remember? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they wish they were us, and then we wish we were like other people. Like you know, it, it never ends. It never ends. Yeah, because like they wish they had our level, but mm. once you reach this level, you only realize how shit you are. It's yeah, like, exactly. you are like we know we're good, yeah. but we also realize how much we don't know because of our level. We understand so much that we know how much we don't know, which exactly. is scary. Because yeah. you're like, fuck, but I want to know that. I want to be able to talk like that. I want to be able to do that. I want to do this. So then there's a lot of things you want to be able to do, but you can't do until you put in that extra time to get the grind in each little division. Like, okay, politics, like mm-hmm. news, then getting to flipping, whether it's talking about writing or talking about in general, just like educated, talking like an educated individual like mm-hmm. requires the time and hours reading or writing yeah. plus everything yeah. else, you know? Or perfectly said though about that. That was, yeah. Like spot on. <laughs> hey, podcast for you. Podcast for you. Yeah, it feels good to be kind of back in the swing of doing like a proper like yeah. an online podcast. We haven't done an online podcast yeah. for like fifty months at the moment. So. It has been yeah. way too long, and I can tell. I can tell you guys for a fact. I apologize, just a little bit. <laughs> it was a lot. There's a lot of. There's a lot of big like schedule issues that were happening. Yeah, yeah. Those were so busy. That's the one thing that I think is like the hardest thing to plan sometimes. It's like, mm-hmm. ah, this thing, this activity, this thing, this activity, school, studying, especially now this week, like George mentioned before, this is like midterms, like heavy grinding. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. grinding. Exactly. Everybody's grinded. And it's also, you know, you might schedule it in, but at least for me, it's like now that I schedule in, making sure that I do it. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Because it's, right. it's not like studying. No one wants to study, right? No one wants yeah, to get up and really right, exercise. Right, right. Right. It's that extra movement, getting there, uh, which I'm working on. Now we're, we're, we're moving. Though. We are moving. Like, I mean, hey, we're here, sitting down here. Yeah, we're in the da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. You know, finally getting some stuff done, and I right. think that kind of brings us to a great wrapping point for this episode. Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Nothing, anything else? Oh, you want right to add? Something like I, I feel like. Really I feel like yeah. deserve to say something to our like our yeah. fans who supported us like this far and have waited oh, for, yeah. for another proper episode so i don't know you guys don't know how much we appreciate all the love especially totally. like through <laughs> all the, yeah the lack of consistency you've seen from us in the past couple of months i can say for a fact like it really means a lot for you guys to still be sticking around watching the videos and we can tell you guys for a fact we're not going anywhere we're not going anywhere so uh, stick around, stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys. See you soon.